Hey, my name is Gala. I'm a Looker Studio expert and the founder of Gallery Reports. I have templates on my website where you can buy something, some different templates. And um, when you have an online store, you definitely collect your data and you want to do some custom analysis, sales analysis, etc. And I worked a lot with Shopify and I would like to explain you something a bit Shopify data. Uh, we will use Supermetrics connector to Google Sheets and try to do several queries just to understand how it works. We already um, added a Supermetrics extension to Google Sheets. If you didn't do it yet, you can check my video uh, about that. It's super easy. Even if you don't want to check my video, you can install it here in add-ons. Get add-on. Super easy. So. We already install Supermetrics add-on, we need authorization and let's observe which option do we have here and uh, how to work with Shopify data. We can create a new query. Uh, in data source we will set up Shopify data source. Uh, it is actually it's not my data so I will select something doesn't matter which account to select. Uh, so we select a data source, then account. We can refresh account list uh, and uh, select one of accounts that is available for us. Um, and then we can select dates. Here we have some pre-setups. Uh, today, yesterday, um, more or less like typical stuff. What is interesting here that I would like to share, um, cust for example, we can use custom date range. Uh, we can start from 1st of January and we want to finish yesterday. In this case, I can just type yesterday in the AND field and Supermetrics and done will work. And then we can compare the data range with in to another one. Um, and then we have different metrics and dimensions related to Shopify data. What is interesting here? Um, let's start with dimensions. So we have like our classic one date stuff, date, uh, month, etc. Year, month. Oh, we can do year, month. It's fine for me. Uh, classic stuff. Then we have store ID and store name. So we selected only one account right now, so uh, it doesn't make sense for us to select store. But if you want to pull data from several Shopify accounts, um, probably it will be nice to see store ID and store name. Then we have product, um, product breakdown and see something about product. What is interesting that uh, Shopify API is a bit different than what you see in, sh in the web interface. Um, you have a bit different names, you have a bit different fields. For example, you have so you could have some fields that are available in web interface, but you cannot pull it via API. So we really have some limitations here. But for most of the dashboard, most of the reports will be okay. So we have SKU as uh, this is our um, product ID, basically. Uh, we can use it. We can use product ID, variant ID, product title, variant title. I will not put titles uh, because I don't want to show what is this store about. Uh, we have some tags. Um, tags I think I will pull uh, because we will have lists and when we, will, when, when we pull tags we have to work with lists. Um, price, descriptions, vendor, type, uh, yeah, type, so we can pull type to see what do we have there. And we have product created date, date time, and then we can see cost per item and something about items, it is gift card, if you have gift cards, for example, uh, no, you see we cannot fetch this date together, okay, because you know why, because this was from product and this is from item, 
and um, these fields they are related to different tables and that is why we cannot pull it together so it's another limitation of uh, working with API connectors but when you work frequently with that you already know what you could do or you cannot do and it will be fine so this is what we can do with as product stuff um, what else interesting what do I use I use orders I use a lot of these fields like order name order text um, something like that channel it's a bit different that you see in uh, Shopify web interface, but you can do something with channel as well. Um, and something from traffic source based on UTM text mostly and referral codes. And some customer details if you need full data about customers. Um, about metrics, basically what usually I use, I use sales discount all these metrics from sales and uh, I use these items orders average order value I prefer to calculate by myself um, yeah it could be it, it, it will be correct here uh, but if you want to work with data like um, use from different data ranges I recommend you to calculate average order value by yourself um, we can stay here we can use like just total sales for example we cannot use total sales because I use product stuff okay inventory value uh, we use data from product table yeah so inventory quantity and uh, really I cannot okay okay um, yeah, you see, so we selected these three dimensions from um, products from this category and our metrics should fit for this category. Um, okay, filters, we will not use filter. Uh, here we have, what do we have here? Add refresh button. Okay, we can add. Add result summary by chart GPT we don't need. Replace blank metrics with zero. Okay, uh, no header row. We need our header row. What else? Uh, combine, keep previous results on refresh error. This I keep. And what is really important for super metrics, for Superfy super metrics, it is reporting time zone. It should be the same as your online store. Uh, only in this case, you will see the correct data in your reports. If you have a different time zone here, you will see some discrepancy, for sure. So please keep in mind this uh, reporting time zone. So we selected our cell and we can click Get Data to Table. And let's wait. I'm not sure that I did something right here, but... I mean, we will have a lot of, yeah, a lot of fields. Uh, now we have our um, articles. Mm, okay. Uh, we have our query and we can see that we have our articles. Uh, we have tags, types, um, inventory value and inventory quantity. When we have tags, I wanted to put your data to text, uh, put your attention uh, type, I think we don't need, I can remove it. Um, what is important here, uh, that is this separated by comma, so when you want to filter data by tag, I recommend you to split data, split data by columns and work a bit on organizing your tags. So I think this is an important moment. Mm, and let's update this query. And I will show you queries that I usually use for my like cohort analysis or etc. For my cohort analysis, I will use different types of query. I will use all oh, like gross sales, total sales, 
uh, orders and um, pff, items, for example. Um, and as a dimension, I will use date, uh, order ID, customer ID. And this will be my apply. And this will be my classic query that I use for cohort analysis. For example, um, don't forget to add mm, like this, for example, or date, order, customer. Date, order, customer. And I have some sales and uh, etc. And this data is can work already. Um, what else it's interesting here? Let's add channel that you see how it could be. Um, yeah, channel you can see online store, uh, some codes, but basically, as I know, in Shopify web interface, you see a bit different stuff so it is not absolutely like on your web interface in Shopify Dun -dun 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 -dun. Um, I think that is it what I wanted to tell you now about um, about Shopify connector mm, more or less everything is clear here I think so uh, you can just put attention to this time zone, reporting time zone, uh, and to keep these metrics and dimensions from same tables because not all of them are matched to each other. And when you finished, you can schedule query and add trigger to update your query weekly or daily basis. And select time zone here as well. Don't forget about time zones. <laughs> um, I think that is it about this video. I think this Shopify connector is really useful and um, yeah, a lot of people use it. So if you have some specific questions about Shopify data via Supermetrics or Shopify data in Looker Studio in Google Sheets, let me know. I will be happy to record a new video about that. I just wanted to do some overview of this, but feel free to ask me questions in comment below this video. Or if you just like this video, please uh, give me a like, subscribe to my channel and hope to see you soon. Yeah, have a nice day.